Deputy Manamela, Deputy Minister in the Presidency for Planning, Performance, Monitoring, Evaluation and Administration, Special Delegates, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Speakers, it is good to see you, it is good to be with you again. In the early hours, ladies and gentlemen, of Monday morning, we lost an icon in the apartheid struggle. Please could I ask you to be upstanding, to observe a moment's silence for Ahmed Katrada, who was an icon, a gentleman, and a man of principle. As South Africa recently hosted the Global Entrepreneurship Conference, we were reminded that entrepreneurial leadership is needed in our society today. And entrepreneurial leadership is characterized by ingenuity, risk-taking, thinking outside of the box, and most importantly, innovation. The one quality that all entrepreneurs have, or need to have if they're going to survive, is they need to be like the dog. And what I can say to you today is small individual deeds result in collective accomplishments. It's a global phenomenon that may also make or break business and society in South Africa. No one was born great. Every one of us that are here, we have a story to tell. Guess what? You also sitting down there, you got your own story to tell. One thing about leadership as well, and one thing about good success, is not always to share all of your ideas in front of people. Keep some of the things close to your heart as well. And then when the time is right, then those things can be implemented and you can build on them. Okay. Well, we know that South Africa is a, is a growing economy, so quite a lot of young people, they want courses that will make them be part of this growing economy. So that's why we are here to assist them and give them the right information they are looking for. I think um, I like that you asked that question because I think life is not um, smooth or plain sailing, you know. It's cyclical. And um, I think all of us sitting here um, have actually experienced tough times in life. And what's helped me as a leader is to just um, to know what my passion and my mission is. I think what I love the most about the show is that we not only have a voice to bring in our solutions or to, to really have an impact on how things can change, but what I love the most is how we are able to immerse ourselves into any and every single socioeconomic issue. And the other part that brings me here is because I, I have a show, a radio show on Cliff Central. It's called Unplugged and In Charge, and it's for the youth especially people exactly like this, people who are um, unplugged from all the excuses that we can make about why we're not where we want to be in life, but they are in charge of making South Africa a better place, in charge of their futures as well, and in charge of really just um, being the change that they want to see around the world as well, yeah. I think people always talk about your potential and you think, will I fulfill or you know, live up to my greatest potential? Am I self-sabotaging in any way? What am I doing to stand in my own way? Do I believe that I can actually achieve what I want? Do I believe I deserve it? Yeah.